G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here again with another episode for you around uh, Microsoft Teams in education. Now, what we're going to take a look at today is and have a, a little bit of a chat about is uh, around that teacher to student communication, that one to one scenario where uh, you as a teacher uh, would like to have uh, a feedback loop or, or communicate with a particular student um, outside of uh, the, the entire class. Now, uh, in Microsoft Teams, we do have that one-to-one -one chat functionality, but what we're seeing is that a lot of schools, districts, departments of education, that type of thing, are, are disabling that one-to-one -one chat uh, through because of a, a raft of different reasons. Um, now, what we can do and what you can do as a, as a teacher, as an educator, is use a, a, a little piece of functionality inside of Microsoft Teams called Private Channels, where you can set up that private space or that private channel where you can um, have uh, that communication with an individual student. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take a, a look at how we, you uh, uh, can create that uh, and what that brings with it for you, all right? So what you can see on the screen here is that I'm logged in as a teacher. I'm in grade 5A. Now, what I can do here is I can click these three little dots and I can add a channel. Now, when I add a channel, I've got two options here. I can choose a standard channel or I can use a private channel. Now, you can see here when I choose private channel, it's only accessible by a specific group of people within the team, all right? So I'm going to choose private channel and I'm going to choose... Um, uh, Alex, I'll just create the channel called uh, Alex and I'll just suffix it with uh, student. All right, so what that's going to do is create a channel called Alex and we're just going to click next. All right, now after we, uh, after Teams creates that channel, what we can do here is we can now add a particular student to that channel. All right, so because it's Alex, he's a member of my class already, so I'm going to type his name in and I'm going to go add. Okay, we could bring in, if we had other teachers as part of this team too, we could bring in uh, additional teachers into this private channel also, but remember they have to be part of that team. Okay, so we're going to click OK. So now we've got this padlock here, we've got a private channel that's just visible to myself, the teacher, and Alex, the student, and we've got the ability here to have a conversation. Okay, so we're just going to choose that. I'm going to flick over to Alex's uh, screen in a sec. Now, we've got posts here, so we can have that, co that, that conversation, but we've also got the files tab, all right? So that's a location where, um, it, a, again, it's only accessible by the student and that whoever's part of that channel, all right? So I'm just going to uh, slide this across, and now I'm logged in as Alex here. So I'm going to jump into the team. And what Alex is going to see is that private channel. Okay, so if we go to here, we can now, uh, now I'm logged in as Alex, um, we can now have a conversation. Um, Mr. Yes. So we can then have that 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 one to one private communication uh, between student and teacher. Okay, so that's a that's a way uh, that we're seeing a, a lot of um, schools have, uh, you know, I, I guess make that functionality available um, so that as a teacher you can still have that uh, that one to one communication with the student outside of the, the class as a whole. All right, and that's using the private channel functionality of Microsoft Teams. So we've we've got the ability to uh, have the conversation, but we do also have this files tab as well. So it is a way that the student can actually upload files and, and potentially submit files to you as the, uh, as the teacher as well. And again, only accessible by that student and the teacher, right? So just to show you that, uh, that it is only accessible by that, that student and that teacher, what we might do is we'll just create another private channel and let's just have a look at the other members of this team so that we can create another private. Okay, so let's create a private channel for Adele. All right, so I'm just going to add a new channel again. I'm going to select private and I'm going to uh, name the channel and we're just going to click next. All right. 
going to spin off uh, and, and create a new private channel. And then we shall add uh, Adele, the student, to that channel. Let's add her. And then what we'll do is we'll flick back over to Alex's uh, view of Teams. And so we can see now me as a teacher, I've got the ability to see two. All right. And but what Alex sees is only his channel, his private channel, and also the general channel there. Okay, so there's a way for you. Hope that brings you some value. There's a way for you to create that uh, that one to one uh, conversation thread with your students inside of your class team. Thanks for watching. Hope that brings you some value, and I'll see you in the next episode.